Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here. Welcome or welcome back to a YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, here we are to continue my A423 Adelaide Crows My Coach Cream Mode. In today's episode, we're going to be, we, we are going to be taking on West Coast at the Adelaide Oval in this Saturday twilight time slot. Now, if you haven't gone ahead and checked out last week's episode, please go ahead and do so now because I'm about to spoil it here. Last week, what a win it was over the Gold Coast Suns in Darwin. It was a win which they definitely made us earn, but in the end, we were good enough to go ahead and win the game. There are some stats for anyone interested. There's best on ground as well. Uh, but yeah, one of our last four games now in a great position and even though West Coast are on the bottom of the ladder they have still been competitive and have picked up a win not too long ago. They were, um, where where was it? They uh, So back here where are they? They got smashed by Hawthorne. A good win over Essendon, which was a close game until they blew it off in the third quarter. So that is an area which we do have to be careful of because sometimes teams can get jump starts and uh, It'd be ideal if we could get the jump start and then they lost to Collingwood by 20 in a decent game of footy, but it was a comeback that they made in the last quarter which fell short. And yeah, now we need to get the win. We're going to go team selection. Here we go. We're going to go unchanged. We just, yeah, if, if we're rocking and rolling, we're rocking and rolling and uh, I definitely feel like we are. So there's the lineup. And now, before we go ahead and start, I have been, I'm sorry that I've forgotten to do the Coleman medal race. But there it is. Um, somebody's blowing it out of the walker, uh, out of the water, or should I say, somebody's blowing it out of the walker right now because it is Taylor Walker who is in front, uh, smashing Green and Robottom who are on 22, and then Rankin is on 21. So there's a common medal race at the moment. Uh, but yeah, playing West Coast today. We'll go have a look at some of the fixtures which have already been happening. Swans, uh, Dogs, and Hawthorne were the winners. What does that do to the ladder, and what does that do to stakes? So here we go. Today, stakes is relatively simple again. Get the we probably our aim is to pick up some percentage as well uh, and then we could probably go and have a look at sixth spot uh, but again there will be a game ahead of Richmond and Frio are still in a very good position they've still got a couple of games to play as well and Frio and Richmond are clashing this round so that's going to be a huge game uh, and then yeah West Coast are on the bottom and if they win they won't be able to get off the bottom but at least make a little little search and try and get something out of the season and try and finish around somewhere here but yeah Absolutely huge. Need to keep on winning. Need to try and win some of these games, which we should be winning. And, um, yeah, we'll go ahead to the Adelaide Oval now. I'll see you guys the Adelaide Oval for Adelaide versus West Coast. This is going to be a big game in the, uh, in the context of our season at the moment. Every game is, an, is a must win, so we can keep on trying to go further. Our last loss was against the Cats back in round eight. So we've won our past four. We're going for five in a row. I'll see you guys at the Adelaide Oval. See you there. Right, so we're going for five in a row. Here today, the Adelaide Oval on West Coast are going to win two of their past three if they get the job done today. So that is what is on the line. So there's a fair bit on the line today. Back in our usual kit here at home, back in our normal Guernsey after we've worn our Indigenous one a couple of um, for three weeks in a row. And I'll put it on again a little bit later on the Coach Cremo. West Coast won the toss. Where are they going? Left or right? Uh, they are going to go to the right of screen. Here we go. Huge clash. Saturday afternoon. Well, Saturday twilight. Adelaide and West Coast. Here we go. So O'Brien wins the hit out as he always does. Jake Saligo's kicked seven goals for the year, but he's had tons of contested possessions and disposals. He's out inside midfield ball. And that is a beautiful start to the game. Hasn't been a heap of scoring so far, but that goes through. There's our second for the match. Numbers here. They've got so many opportunities. And that was just too easy for Shuey. So Jack Darling's had a relatively quiet season for the Eagles, but he is a dangerous player, and all he needs is a goal just to get get going. And Taylor Walker, nearly. Oh, we would have had a good opportunity. The siren always sounds when we have a good chance. But he's going to be West Coast by six at the first change. 2-1-13 Adelaide, 3-1-19 West Coast. Here are some of the stats. So we've been better around clearance. Uh, I do feel like these two midfields would probably go up relatively well against each other anyway. But look, not the start which we were hoping for. West Coast did get on top. And uh, the way which they were able to move the ball from uh, defensive end to attacking end was really good. And, uh, so yeah, that's definitely an issue which we're going to have to try and address defending ball movement but aside from that I thought it was a relatively good first term. Second term underway here we go Adelaide over O'Brien again wins the hit out. O'Brien just trying to go forward really nice fend off. Keys really nice fend off. Foggy all that deserves a goal and it gets what it deserves. 
First goal of the quarter, Adelaide. We draw back level. Keys O'Brien with the fend-offs. And then Darcy Fogarty finishes it off perfectly. He hasn't kicked a goal yet today, though. He's been targeted a couple of times. This is his first for the afternoon. This would be for another one straight out of the centre. Taylor Walker. He got. He's always one which is targeted so often. And he misses so few. Joshua Shelley, we're getting shots left, right and centre and we are leaving West Coast for dust at the moment. Phil Thorpe wasting no time. He's going to go with the drop punt. Probably better idea to go with the snap but it doesn't matter because it will still go through and it will still be a goal for us. So Campbell Tresser, little momentum change here and the Eagles need to capitalise on it and they do. Time is ticking this quarter and there you go, there's your half time siren. And what a quarter footy it was from us. That second quarter, we blew it away from West Coast leading at half time. It is now Adelaide 7 1 43 to West Coast 4 2 26. Brilliant second quarter surge there from us puts us in a great position. All right, here we go. So, one, two, three, four, five goals that quarter to one. Really did, yeah, uh, put all the momentum our way. And we are on top of the clearance area as well, which is an area we rarely, I don't know if we've actually ever won that area. So, it does definitely help when we're getting opportunities from our midfield straight away. Two goals for Phil Thorpe and Walker. Phil Thorpe has been good as of late. Keys has just been so influential as well. But, yeah, absolutely huge second half coming up because we're not up by a, a huge amount um, and what is it 17 points is definitely not a um, yeah not a non comebackable margin if you understand they can definitely come back and they probably will as well we've got a huge game here coming up at the Adelaide Oval third quarter is underway it is Adelaide 7-1-43 to West Coast 4-2-26 at half time second half third term underway here we go so we're underway here, way or no it's not, Riley O'Brien from the middle, the Ruckman, he can do anything to start off the quarter perfectly, that is as good as it gets for the Ruckman, Riley O'Brien, brilliant moments, so haven't been the greatest this quarter, but that is huge, just what the Eagles needed, Phil Thorpe slams it through, he does that so well, he's and there is your storm for three-quarter time. Both teams had their chances to attack late in the quarter. Both sides made some mistakes. It could be closer or further than what it is. But at the moment, it's a very simple quarter. Not really what happened. We kicked the two goals. West Coast kicked the one. And this is just a huge final quarter uh, coming up. And hopefully, we can get the job done. Still doing really well, really well in clearances. But yeah, if West Coast want to win this game, they're going to have to come out and kick the first of the last quarter and the first couple of the last quarter. It's not impossible, but in a low-scoring game like this, which most of our games have been quite low-scoring, this is absolutely massive. So here we go. Final term at the Adelaide of Wonderway. We're currently 25-point leaders. And uh, yeah, first couple of kicks in this quarter, absolutely massive. If we get them, we lock the game away. If they get them, they're definitely still a chance. Adelaide Oval, here we go. Berry, now out here for Darcy Fogarty to seal your deal. That is your game. We're going to win 32 points it is now. He's definitely deserved a goal for all his hard work he does for this football club. There's another cream on the cag now. To the 50. Hinge is here. And again, as soon as we were going to be in a perfect uh, scoring opportunity, the sign will sound. And a really weird game of football. The scores haven't been as great as what I would have imagined them to be this whole series. Uh, really, they've been really low scoring recently. And another one, he's 71 to 36. It was a real scrap fest this game. But it does go through how contested and how and how tough and how interesting these games can be. But it's another really nice win. Uh, this time over the lowly West Coast Eagles win 11 5 71 2 5 6 36 comfortably by what would that be? Um, 35 I think 30 yeah 35 points in the end good win Nothing special, nothing absolutely fantastic, but we did win the clearances, which was a good thing uh, Yeah, nothing absolutely fantastic nothing crazy um, But yeah again though, we're still just getting the job done. We're still just doing what we need to do and getting a little bit of percentage um but yeah, after after half time, we'll go back and have a little look at the worm just after we go through these scores, and um, yeah, we can have a we might be able to have a look at the coal medal race if I remember. Which we did do that at the start of the episode, so we don't have to do that. But um, yeah, after half time, 
Seven goals we had, four goals West Coast had. They kicked one in the second half, we kicked four in the second half. Uh, they missed a lot of their shots as well in the last quarter. They had some really good opportunities, missed them. Um, we actually missed some of our shots as well. But anyway, though, enjoy the song. Really nice win. All right, there we go. Five in a row. The boys are on, and this club is well and truly back in finals contention. After we started on four, we are getting our grooves together. Uh, by week now, which we'll be able to skip this in this episode. Next week, we play Collingwood, which will be one of our toughest challenges yet at the MCG. 35 points. As I said, nothing special. But look, I reckon this Collingwood one next week should be one of the best episodes yet. We had a really good game with them last time. Unfortunately enough, that episode is not out there due to lost footage. But this is absolutely huge. Collingwood falling off. We are rising up. And, um, yeah, we'll go through the rest of the round because... Last round, absolutely huge. And, yeah, now all of a sudden, um, what is this? Thursday the 15th of June. So just to select the lineup. So why is it... Oh, wait. 15th of June, but we're not playing. But we're not playing. Okay, we'll have to do this next episode then because this is a bit weird with the buy system, but we can work that out. Uh, but anyway, the other results, Richmond smashed Frio. So that's percentage loss for them. And that extra uh, little advantage that they had lost as well. Uh, and then, yeah, the Giants won by 18 over North, uh, Essendon won by 7 over Carlton, and Melbourne smashed Collingwood. Uh, results this round, I have to wait till next episode um, because this is our game, but it's really weird, but we'll just do that next episode because we don't really want to get stuck into next episode stuff this episode. Um, now, aside from that, Coleman Metal will go through that. Um, let's see. 38 for Walker, 26 for Green, 22 for Robottom, 21 for Rankin. We still do play um, Toby Green and the Giants and Robottom and the Swans. Uh, so we've still got a couple of big clashes there. But yeah, that Crows and Giants game later on in the year will probably be a good one. And that'll be a really important one as well. Uh, but if we go the ladder now, where does that leave us? We're in seventh, we're eight and five, 32 points, equal fifth at the moment. Percentage, we gained a bit of it, didn't gain a whole heap of it. We still yet to have that really big crushing win, which we probably won't have this year, but again though, we're just getting the job done, we've won our past five, we're the only team outside the top two to have won their past five, Melbourne won their past four, but next week is going to get really tough when we play Collingwood, who are just outside the eight on, um, yeah, they're, they're in 11th, they're on 24 points, they're six and seven, and next week is going to be absolutely huge, uh, but anyway though, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode, uh, I don't think there's anything else which I need to check. Um, but yeah, anyway, though, we'll be getting into next episode stuff. Next episode, we'll be skipping round 14, which the big clashes. Port Adelaide and Geelong is probably a big one. Yeah, it is a big one. Huge one. Uh, and then, yeah, Brisbane, Sydney. Like, all these games now, especially for any team around us, are just absolutely huge. And especially, like, with game games in hand on the ladder for the top two teams to extend their lead. Most of these teams have played, but Port Adelaide and Freo will still be playing again before us. And then, obviously, our game versus Collingwood will be a huge one. So, still got huge, huge, huge games to come. And then Brisbane still will have... Uh, a couple of games to play as well. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a really open top eight race, and hopefully we are there for September. But, look, um, yeah, got a huge next couple of weeks as well. We'll just run, th run through them real quick. So we've got Collingwood, obviously. Then we've got North Melbourne. Um, and then we have got Essendon. So some huge games coming up. Um, North Melbourne are in fifth. That's a big one. Collingwood are in 11th, and Essendon are in 12th. So next couple of weeks... Let's just hope that we can at least win one of three, but preferably two of three would be amazing. That's going to wrap up today's episode. A nice 25-point win over, over... Sorry, nice 35-point point win over West Coast. Thank you guys for so much watching. Please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys and then miss another video on the channel. Thank you guys for so much. Bye, everyone. Flame footy out.